Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we will talk about the topics chosen by the examiner for the B1 exam. If you don't already know, the B1 exam has two parts. The first part is a topic that you choose and the second part is a conversation that you have with the examiner. The conversation involves two different phases. In the first phase, the examiner will ask you questions about the topic that you chose. And in the second phase, the examiner will ask you questions about two topics that the examiner will choose himself. So in this video, we will talk about the topics that the examiner chooses and how you can prepare for all of them. So if you didn't already know, the examiner can choose any two topics out of a total of six. He will choose any topic he wants to have a conversation with you. The six total topics that the examiner can choose are music, means of transport, special occasions, festivals, personal experiences, and lastly, entertainment. The examiner will choose any two topics out of these six for the conversation and he will ask you simple questions about the two topics. So for example, if he chooses the topic festivals, he may ask you what type of festivals do you celebrate in your country or what type of festivals do you usually celebrate? Or if he asks you a question about means of transport, he can ask what means of transport do you like the most? And since there are only a handful of these topics, you can prepare for each of these in advance. That way, when you're having the conversation, you are already well prepared and well equipped with your answers. Now that you know the six topics that the examiner can choose from, Let's talk about some things to keep in mind. First of all, just keep in mind that the B1 test is just a language test. The examiner is there to test your English language skills. So it doesn't matter if your answer is not 100% accurate. As long as the English is correct, it is a valid answer. Asking to repeat or explain a question is also okay. The examiner is there to help you out. So don't be shy if you don't hear a question or you don't understand it at first. You should also focus on the examiner's language and make sure to listen carefully before answering as understanding the question is half the answer. So make sure to listen carefully and understand what type of language the examiner is using. Next up, you should answer appropriately. Once you have listened to the question and you know what the examiner wants from you, just answer appropriately and make sure to use proper language. And lastly, good luck and don't be nervous. You've totally got this. If you have a question, just leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for more. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.